Rui Lopez opening, Berlin defense, 4.00b7. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. b7 develops the bishop toward the center, adds a defender to the knight on f6 and prepares to castle king's side. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is the final book action. This misses a chance to mold a bishop for advancement. It is incorrect. Making the adversary double their pawns makes it easier to establish flaws. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal backs off. It is ideal. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to defend a knight that was under attack. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to win back a piece. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This prepares the bishop for development. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing rook. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable rook. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a queen. This allows the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This wins a tempo on a queen while while developing a piece. It is ideal. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This threatens to play checkmate. This permits the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This defends the attacked rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Recaptures. It's compelled. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is quite good. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. Black is losing because the end game has begun. It's compelled. This poses a checkmate threat. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. There is a better way to get a bishop to safety than this. It is incorrect. This ignores a better way to move a piece to safety. 
This permits the opponent to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. It is a mistake. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is ideal. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. That's fine. It is good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is quite good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is quite good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is quite good. The pawn is now in a safe position. That's good. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.